All right. This this is a message to Sam Hyde. Motherfucker, you think you think you fucked up your life. I can fuck it up way worse than you. Just give me the power. Give me the power to make your forum and you'll be eating out of a fucking box in Poland in like three weeks. I promise you. Give me four weeks and I'll fuck up everything you've ever worked to achieve. better fucking do it you better not a, it's not a fucking joke i'm not i'm not making a joke i will fucking make this this million dollar extra whatever the fuck website don't you fucking worry it'll be the greatest thing ever made that anybody's ever seen and he will regret it immensely all right so this week this week i've not been paying attention to much i guess that's not a good way to start off the stream right to say that I haven't I haven't been paying attention to anything. I've been having my head in the sand, but I've been working on a personal project, which I'm not I'm not at liberty. It's a top secret project. It's not interesting. It's not like I'm working on something top secret that uh, is secret because it's it's going to be a game changer, and then everyone's going to see, and it's going to be like wow. It, it's um it's complete fucking garbage. I don't know why I'm wasting my time with it, uh, but. Uh, it is what it is, and it's been distracting me from my my other obligations, like running a uh, a cyber bullying troll terrorist website. Uh, now I've been keeping my eye on Jordan Peterson because Jordan Peterson has has a plan has a plan to make my forum famous even more so than than uh, Christchurch because he 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 said this on record to me privately. I'm going to make Christchurch look like a fucking joke. I uh, I know that everyone's making fun of this, this Jordan Peterson meme, where it's like you can just plug in text and get Jordan Peterson to very realistically say whatever the fuck he wants, what, what you want him to say. Um, but I'll tell you why it, I love it more than you. I love it because I I told Dick Nasworth, I brought this up several times, I don't know why, because it keeps, it keeps being more and more true. First time I spoke to Dick on the Dick Show, I told him that uh, we were going to see the nudes of Congress people by like 20, 2030. Like we would have nudes on half the people in Congress. And now with all this deep fake shit, we're going to have nudes of everyone. And they might not even be real, but they'll be so authentic looking that uh, you won't be able to tell if they're real or not. And even like uh, Congress is scrambling to fucking outlaw this shit, but there's still there's going to be dedicated all these GPUs people are buying to mine Bitcoin. Like if that ever stops, or when they get retired because new GPUs come out, all those old GPUs are going to be repurposed to fucking neural network shit to generate nudes of of important famous people and and synthesizing their voice to cause political crises and shit. And I love it. I love it because. If if we can make anyone on the earth say anything we want them to and do anything we want them to, then people have to be really pragmatic with how they evaluate people. It's it's no longer going to be enough to just say, oh, this person said something offensive. You got to ruin their life now because they said something offensive. Because the, the, you can just deny it. Say, no, I didn't. You just went on to uh, generate speech. You went to to saybook dot com and you generated that, or somebody did. It's just a prank. You can you'll have that plausible den deniability with everything, like even video of you robbing a bank. You'll just say that's a deep fake, man. Somebody put my face. I, I've never even been to that bank. I don't know what that bank is. How would I how would I rob that bank? Like all footage is going to be fucking worthless. It's it's fantastic. And I, I can't wait to see how governments try to desperately claw at this. Because it's not something that they can re legislate. You can say, oh, well, posting fake shit is, is illegal. Well, how the fuck is a concerning person, someone who wants to follow that rule, going to realistically determine if something is fake or not? You know, video gets put out there of Boogie 
bashing someone's head in with a baseball bat. How the fuck is anyone supposed to say, no, that deep fake of a fat person with Boogie's face killing someone is, is fake? How, how are you, you going to make that determination? You, you just can't. It's not possible. Same with speech. So they're gonna they're gonna desperately try. They're gonna try making it making it illegal, um, like like producing it. But there's more countries in the U.S. and that's why I said it's like it's gonna be in Russia. All those old GPUs are gonna be moved to Russia in giant warehouses dedicated to pumping this shit out. And I'm sure Russia will make it illegal too, but they won't care unless it affects Russian politicians. And then you know it, it'll prof, you know proliferate throughout the internet. You know, unless the internet is completely stripped down to a few highly controlled services at that point, uh, you, you can't stop it. It'll in trying to stop it will just dry sand affect it. So really, really exciting stuff. Very very pleased to see that the the ability for uh, us to perceive reality itself is completely falling apart, and we're all going to be insane mole people. Um, Acting off of figments of our imagination on the internet. Let's see. Somebody somebody spent money to ask me about the monkey. Again, <laughs> get you a guy that looks at you the way monkey looks at himself on sex tape. Yeah, that's. I guess I should warn people. I have to warn people that I want to talk about the monkey thing. So, consider this an intermission as we as we get into this. Hold up. Where's my NPC player? Perfect. Okay, intermission time. You're a white if girl. If you're not, if you're not emotionally prepared, hard, but you really gotta stop banging dogs. <laughs> if you're not prepared for this, and start look away now. We all know it's a dog you're banging. You're a white girl, and I know it's hard, but you really gotta stop banging dogs. You can lie and start complaining, stop complaining. On. You know, uh, Rusty Cage has done a new rendition of his White Girls Fuck Dogs song, don't and it's, know, it's very heartfelt, I'll say that know, much. It's it's the only... Yeah, Rusty Cage will be alive like 20 years from now, and people will only be remembering... It's like his, his hit single. It's like the, the one-hit wonder song that 20 years later he's tired of performing... You know, little little children will be running up to him in the streets and being like, "Oh, your your internet famous musician Rusty Cage, can you sing us White Girls Fuck Dogs?" And he'll be like, "You know, I I made a thousand other songs now. Don't you want to hear something else? And a lot of good songs that I put a lot of effort into, besides that shitty jingle I whipped up in an afternoon." And they'll be like, "No, you want to hear White Girls Fuck Dogs?" And he'll he'll sigh and resign himself to it. Um. So if you don't know, if, you, if you've never heard of Monkey Jones, if you're like a grandpa who's listening to this for some reason because you found it on iTunes accidentally, uh, by the way, my Libsyn feed is now published to Google Play and iTunes. So if that's a thing you're interested in, uh, go for it. But if you're like a random boomer grandpa listening to this on iTunes because it's under the comedy section and I'm committing a grievous act of, of false advertising with that. Um, there's a guy on the internet named Monkey Jones who is once internet famous, but is now, he's thrown it all away in exchange for a, a girl who looks like a boy. In fact, Liu so much looks like a boy that, and the way that he's looking at, okay, this <laughs> Somebody said in that thread that there is like straight porn for gay men where the, the, it's shot with an emphasis on the guy. The guy's looking at the camera. There's emphasis on his penis. The woman the woman is completely like out of the frame most of the time. And it, it's straight porn for gay men, they said. And I think between him shooting the porn mostly centered on himself and between her looking like an actual man... I think Monkey is a closeted homosexual, and this is his way of living out that gay fantasy while pretending to be straight. I think what needs to happen is Monkey Jones needs to get fucked in the ass by a bear, and it'll be okay. Um, there was a, a very heated debate over the size of Monkey's penis. People seem to think it was very small. Uh, Jordan Peterson actually uh, weighed in on this. Based on how high the dump cunt was bouncing, I could tell that Monkey's cock is a five-incher at best. Real teeny weeny you got there, jungle boy. 
People seem to think that it was very small. I don't know. His penis looked average to me. I think it's it's a weird thing on the internet where people like opine that every penis they see is the smallest penis ever, and it makes me very uh, suspicious of why they're they're overreacting. It's like when somebody brings up pedophiles and people start reacting and going, uh, like, "Oh man, I fucking hate pedophiles. I want to fucking kill all the pedophiles in the world. All pedophiles need to die." Like, yeah, we all know. We all know this. We all think that pedophiles are bad. Why are you, like, so invested in letting me know how you personally feel about pedophiles? It, it just makes me fucking suspicious. So with all these motherfuckers saying that this cock is, like, the smallest penis they've ever seen, I'm just like, how, how small is your penis? Where, where you have to, like, insist that this is this is reality. This is your perception of it. Because I I get fucking I get suspicious of that shit. Diapetos. Yeah, exactly. You gotta make sure you gotta make sure people know your opinion on pedophilia. Uh, <laughs> somebody named not the NSA or possibly the NSA asked me where I am. I wonder why. Why do people keep saying that Leo is Jewish? I don't believe that. Because her, her last name is Italian. It's like Simonette or something. She's not, she doesn't look Jewish. She just looks ugly. Not every ugly person in the world is Jewish. That's a misconception. Uh, is there anything else I want to say about Mumkey? I don't want to talk about Mumkey that much. I know that's the big news. Everyone's talking about Mumkey. Because uh, <laughs> Italian in triple quotes. Um, because... He wants to be like infamous now, like that. He's taking on that mindset where it's like, "Haters make me famous, cash me outside." How about that? And it's just like it's really obnoxious. And it, it, I don't know if that's like intentional reverse psychology, where he wants to be as obnoxious about it so people stop talking about him, or if he's actually hoping that this he'll become like a dark side Phil. I don't know what he's going for, but uh, it's 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 kind of nauseating because it's like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Uh, see, do I have anything else on? Oh, <laughs> Jordan Peterson, what's your opinion on white girls and dogs? Holy fucking shit! I want to bang the Animal Crossing dog so god and bad. I can't stand it anymore. Every time I go to the town hall, I get a massive erection. I've seen literally every Rule Thirty Four post there is of her own life. My dreams are nothing but constant fucking sex with Isabel. I'm sick of waking up every morning with six nuts in my boxers and knowing that those are nuts that should have been busted inside of Isabel's tight dog pussy. I want her to have my mutant human dog babies. Fuck my fucking mum. Caught me with the neighbor's dog. I dressed her in my sister's skirt and went to fucking town. She hasn't said a word to me in ten hours, and I'm worried she's going to take away my threads. I might not ever get to see a Sybil again. Rest in peace, is 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 Abel. Maybe that's like the Jewish pronunciation of Isabel. It's not, it's not a mispronunciation. He's just saying it as he's used to. So, really, the big thing is Blair White. I don't have too much to talk about. Because this is this has been a boring week, Mumkey. Yeah, Mumkey. I, I guess before I talk about Blair White, I want to talk about the motivation of leaking the sex tape. It's very strange because it's it's debated. She says that she didn't leak it, and from what I understand, Dylan, the underage boy, leaked it. So I don't know if he's underage currently, but what it sounds like is that she. In her mind, sending it to specific people isn't leaking it. It's only posting it to the public that's leaking it. But when she sends it to an underage boy, and he then transfers it to other people who then post it and spread it around, she leaked it. And she leaked it via an underage person who shouldn't be receiving that material to begin with. So I don't, I don't even know. Apparently, people speculate that she... Uh, she was trying to blackmail him into talking to her. And there's apparently a lot more, uh, like there's eight videos in total. And this is the first one. So I don't know. People were really depressed because it's literally just her writing Mumkey and Mumkey staring creepily into the camera. Like he's getting off on his own reflection. 
and we were expecting like him getting fucked in the ass or something. So hopefully that's that's on the up and up. Uh, I want to see Mumkey Jones get fucked in the ass by a by a female twink. That's my that's my sexual fetish. <clears throat> Talk about Godwinson. Godwinson left. Godwinson left. Uh, he just deleted everything. He posted. It was very strange. He posted a link to a Discord channel. I joined. And like a hundred people joined in like a few minutes and then he deleted it. He deleted everything else all at once. And I don't know if he got doxxed or what, but Godwinson, if you've watched the video with, uh, about cooking with Kay and, um, her son Lee, he did the video called neat hog day. And, uh, it it was just the the repeat of Lee's vlogs, and it was a very good video, and it kind of underscored how, um, how pathetic the British are. No, how pathetic people are who live in that kind of that kind of cycle where they don't have any ambitions and they just go through each day. He made that video, and he was he made a lot of videos that were quite funny. He was one of my favorite content creators because he was so like he he didn't have any ambitions for money or fame. He just did videos that interested them. And they were quite good. So I don't know. He's deleted stuff before. Hopefully he comes back. Because I liked his stuff. And I like to show his stuff to people. Because it was a uh, quality. Uh, neat Hog Day. As in Groundhog. But Neat Hog. Because uh, the name comes from the concept of Groundhog Day. Where you relive the same day every every day. It just repeats endlessly. There's an entire movie based off of it. Where Brad Pitt's fighting aliens or some shit. Yeah, but uh, his neat hog day was just waking up, feeding his dog, going for a walk, making breakfast, making dinner, and for my tea, I'm having two yum yums. And then he feeds his dog, and then he uploads his vlog to to YouTube, and then he says, "Night night, Ziggy, I'll see you in the morning." And that's that's his entire day every day. And God once and kind of put that together, and it was a pretty fantastic video, one of the best. I've ever seen because it fills you with a kind of existential dread that usually requires someone uh, much more, much more effort to, to, to accomplish. But just by, just by showing the actuality of how someone lives uh, was enough, was enough to accomplish that. Now <laughs> uh, I'll say, I'll say that it's related, but I'll say that for, for the end. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh, and Jim got banned off of DLive. I don't know if he's been unbanned. I'm pretty sure he has, but he did a video talking about it. And from what I understand is that there was some kind of... Like, I haven't been banned off DLive, and everyone was telling me, like, I should close my account out of, like, solidarity or some shit. It was very strange, and people were warning me that they were cracking down on social justice warrior shit. But from what I understand, he got banned because he was playing a clip of that it was a like a twitch stream a real life stream or something that incidentally caught the audio of a rape in the next room and jim had done something to the audio to blow it up so that uh the rape was more easily heard and that that was what got him banned and the stated reason was like sexual content or something because d live has a pretty strong stance on sexual content so I don't know. Nobody else has been affected. I really think it's just like you can't play sex stuff on DLive or they'll ban you real fast. It's on YouTube. I don't know. Like, you have to understand that they're, they're a new platform and they, like, Twitch has a big problem with porn and they probably have to deal with porn and stuff. It, it's a, and YouTube is really shitty at, like, the, the fucking Monkey Jones sex tape is on YouTube and it stays up at, for like hours at a time. So just because it's on YouTube doesn't mean that they're generally more restrictive than YouTube or anything. Uh, I think that's a false equivalence. It was just a grope. <clears throat> I didn't know. I don't watch it. I had no interest in seeing that. But from what I heard, what I understood, and from D Live's reaction, uh, that was that was why. Uh, it would suck if D Live went because I don't because I I mean, what's the alternative to D Live right now? A fucking uh. Uh, Bitwave. I would literally rather stop streaming altogether than go on Bitwave because those people are fucking creepy, and I don't want anything to do with them. So, 
that's uh <laughs> that's my opinion on yeah no fuck off literally would rather stop it or i would just um i would just do it on my own site because i could easily like uh, 15 people 1500 people are watching this right now i could easily stream that uh in audio in 96 kilobit per second uh audio stream that's easy Oh, and Dame Peso's got flagged. And who who did that? Let me pull that up actually, because I I had heard about that, but I didn't um I didn't look into what the fuck is his name now? It's like Gator Pesos or something. Dame Gator. Is that it? Oh, it is. <laughs> what a weird ass fucking name. Is it Monday? Is it Monday, Matt again? Oh, oh, these are the videos. Oh no, it's Kraut this time. Or no, it's the Soilus. It's like two different things at once. Oh no, it is the Soilus Man. Wow, I can't. What a fucking pussy. What a. F I mean, is, do you. I would ask, do you think if it's actually... So right now I'm looking up the, the image of the community guideline strikes that Dame Peso's got. And they're for two different Soyless Matt shows. One for violation of YouTube's policy on harassment and bullying. Uh, both of them on that. Or on uh, the second one on policy on hate speech. I don't know what hate speech Dame Peso's did, but... I would ask if you guys think it's actually Matt who did this, but I'm going to go out on a limb and just say it is. I don't understand that. I, I I will never understand the mentality of like people can't say mean things about me. It's it's such it's so it's so completely alien. Like it, it's completely there is no there like on a Venn diagram there's a zero a zero uh intersection. That's the word. I have so many different I words in my my brain that were not intersection. Trying to fight for that space. But in my the Venn diagram of my brain, there is no intersection between like what I think and in this mentality of people can't say mean things about me on the internet. Like, do you do you people know the kind of shit that is said about me? I would I would be fucking dead if I if I tried to control that. I would have to fucking kill myself if that shit like got to me. I I have seen more things written about me that are just fabrications the most hideous fabrications possible more more so than anything i've ever read on the forum like combined but monday matt can't handle what some fucking squeaky wet back laughing at him for being a, a fucking uber eats driver what what why even live What's what is the what is the purpose of your life if that's if that's your fucking line in the sand you can't tolerate that why literally why live if you're that if you're that fucking pathetic I don't know <sighs> I don't know that's what I have to say about being DNX so far my shit's going fine though you know what it is I started loving Israel. I started loving Israel, and I stopped talking bad about trannies. Now, on that note, let's talk about trannies. Now, on the last episode of Mad at the Internet, I warned you that Blair White is a fucking gross tranny and should not be given any leeway just because they are our base tranny, quote unquote, and they have conservative viewpoints and they believe in the gender binary does not mean that Blair White is not a mentally ill man in drag who can be trusted with anything. Quote Erot Demonstrandum, Ryan Gordon. Now, Yaniv and I had planned a, uh, a interview and then he abruptly backed out because he had gotten an agent for a documentary. The documentarian was apparently this guy, Ryan Gordon. And Ryan Gordon, as part of their agreement, had gotten access to all of Yanov's social media and had uh, was basically given free access to everything that Yanov does. 
uh, to see all his private stuff and, and everything. And Gordon was using that as a direct way to pipe into uh, information into the Canadian police. He was essentially like a, a like a freelance fed working for the Canadians based on what he was doing. He was completely taking advantage of Yanov from from what he said. And uh, he confided who he was and what he was doing to Blair White. Blair White being in, in uh, I'll leave a link to this in the uh, post. But <clears throat> from what he says, and it's a long story. I'm not going to read it, but I'll give you the gist. Uh, Blair White called the Langley Police Department by Yanev and tried to corroborate information that Gordon had told uh, told him with what the police said. And what the police told Blair White is that they could not give any information about uh, an ongoing investigation. To which Blair White turns around and says, this is, uh, I think this is, uh... oh, as he puts it, instead it sounds like she thought I can make another video off this, and she did. She made, Blair White made a video basically saying that this guy, Ryan Gordon, was the documentarian and was lying, was protecting a pedophile, was protecting Yaniv. And since the the internet circle around Yaniv right now is a boomer frenzy, and because, as I've explained earlier, when people talk about pedophiles, they get like a frothing fucking rage where they excuse being complete fucking retards in favor of being like wannabe Chris Hansen vigilante witch hunters who fuck up everything. Um... He immediately got doxxed, and then, according to him, people showed up at his house to the point where he called police and asked for uh, patrols to stop by to make sure people weren't coming to kill him because Blair White had put this guy on fucking blast as being a a pedophile protector or something, at least from from the accounts, and I think the the staff verified him. I hope so, otherwise I'm looking like a retard. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, because in... He he contacted Blair and said, you know, you you really misunderstand from his um from his account. He says, in response to Blair's accusations, I said, let's get them on the phone. And on a three way with the Langley police, they asked me to verify myself. The police knew Blair was on the call as well. After I verified myself, the Langley police confirmed exactly what Blair had accused me of not doing. And despite that, despite knowing and having that confirmation they were looking for after the video went out, Blair has not taken down the video, has not apologized. And from what he said, trying to find the quote, um, Blair basically said to him that it would make him look bad if he had gotten this wrong. So he's not going to fess up to it at all because he wants to be internet famous. Uh, Blair had agreed to confidentiality with this person in exchange for a scoop on this Yanib thing that uh, Blair was very interested in. And in response to that, this psychotic fucking crossdresser basically ruined his life. He's called off the, the documentary. He's uh, completely dropped it. So I guess I get my interview with Yanib now. Thanks, Blair. Uh, and is just giving up on it. So I don't know. I think that's really funny. I, I, I called it like within days of it happening, that Blair shouldn't be trusted and I'm right again. Uh, it's not a hard call though. Here you have someone who has a bona fide mental illness. Should they be trusted with confidential information that can really hurt you if it was in the wrong hands? Uh, the answer is no. The answer is no. Do not give psychotics your fucking a noose to hang you with. You will regret it when they do it. And you'll be surprised by their motivation in doing it. Jay predicted this exactly. See, okay, here's the thing. I'll tell you. Um, uh, my interview with Yana would not be hostile. It's like with Maddox. I really, I really do not want... A yelling contest. I have no interest in yelling at someone. I uh, I just want to talk, and I have good questions, and I have a good way of 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 engaging someone and not pushing 
pushing a narrative. Like I have no reason to tell Yanu that I think they're a bad person. I, I think my position on this is already well understood, and I don't have to prove to people what side of what side I'm on. I don't feel that. But someone like Blair White has to grandstand. They get they get this interview, and then at the end they go, I, uh, I think I've already made fun of this. I made fun of this when it happened. When when it happened, and how Blair was just like. You make trans people look bad, and I don't want to give you a platform, and I think you're disgusting, and it's like, okay, <laughs> nobody nobody was accusing you of being like Yaniv until you said that. Uh, you make yourself look really fucking suspect when, when you go out on that limb, and I have no interest in doing that to Yaniv. I just want to ask questions and get him to talk, and... Uh, it's the same thing with Maddox. I don't want to yell at Maddox. I just want to ask questions and get him to talk because I think he has an interesting story that he hasn't spoken about yet. Uh, this guy is promising. He said he's filed a police report locally and with uh, he's contacted the Hollywood police where Blair lives to, to press charges. I don't know for what. I guess for harassment. Maybe for defamation. Because, um, I mean, in terms of actual... Like, in terms of... like Defamation cases are are hard to prove in general, obviously. Um, and the big thing is you need damages, right? You need damages to prove defamation. Uh, if I say that you're, you know, if you're something that you're not and it doesn't do you any harm, you can be as offended as you want, but you don't have a defamation case. But if you're a documentarian and you're expecting to make X amount of money off your documentary and your defamation causes the documentary to fall apart. That is a, uh, a possible loss as far as I'm, uh, as far as I'm aware in terms of defamation. So I don't know. I, I, I wish the best for him. I, I hope it works out because it really sucks that this fucking retard in dress, uh, ruined his shit for, for literally like 15 minutes of fame just so that they can make another video going, uh, I'm totally not like Yaniv, and then, uh, I I think Yaniv is bad. Like, okay, <laughs> who who gives a shit what you think? You're not fucking important. Nobody cares. Thanks for thanks for ruining uh, the the police's in to everything that Yaniv had uh, completely free of charge. You retard, <sighs> Jordan. What do you think about Blair? I hope that Blair White washes her feminine penis. Me too. I, you don't. You don't want some dick cheese up on that. The estrogen does not make it any better. Is that it? Is that all I have? Thirty minute stream. Can you guys think of anything? Anything I missed? Because it's been a slow week. It's been a slow week for me, at least. Oh, oh! You know what I have? You know what I have? I unfortunately do not have a bingo card for this, but, but, where is it? I better fucking have, if I don't have this downloaded, uh, I'm not going to play the video. I'm just going to shoot myself live on stream. I better fucking have this clip. Oh, I don't know how it's gonna play with audio only. Fuck it, whatever. Who cares? If it's if it's shit, I'll cut it out of the of the Libsyn feed. Where the fuck is this? Oh, I feel like a total retard right now. I know I saved it. <laughs> okay, here here's what it is. If I can't find it, I'm just gonna cry. Um. Lee, the the kid, Kay's son, Lee. <gasps> yes. Hello, guys, and welcome back to my no. channel today. You're doing it. You're doing it before I was ready, Lee. <laughs> you gotta wait for the cue, Lee. This mother, he did it. He claimed he climbed out of his neat hog to take his mother's throne. His mother, his mother is getting old. She is getting aged. Her hands are too shaky. And and Parkinson's to to cut the potatoes anymore. So, the ascended the ascended neat hog is ready to cook. And I have not watched this. I hope it's terrible. Uh, we'll see. Hello, guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I am so excited. This video <clears throat> that I'm about to do has been requested 
so many times I can't remember how many times it's been requested. It's literally loads. So today I am actually going to be doing it. But before I start, I just want to let you know I have lost my battery charger for the camcorder, so I have no idea. So I might have to switch cameras off way around. I just want to point so out that he loses his fucking battery charger like every episode. I've he I've heard uh, Kay say that as well. Like we're on low battery and we don't have the charger. How the fuck do you keep losing the thing? You're you're in like a shitty two bedroom British cottage. Where the fuck can you possibly put? This fucking camera battery charger that you can't find it reliably. It goes a bit so down, you it annoys the fuck out of but me. I hate today, losing shit. It's just finally drum. Oh, I forgot for sakes. It's found the drum roll, please. Oh, he's trying to be entertaining. Oh no, his mom. Bit delayed, but thank you. That's K. He's having his mom help him make his fucking video. That's really embarrassing, and I'm I'm kind of cringing. And today I am doing my first cooking video. Yes, this is this video has been requested so many times. So I just said I'm not that. gonna tell you what I am cooking, but you will just have to see during the vlog. It's not a vlog, is it? Is it a vlog? Or is it just a cooking video? Who knows? Right, so yeah, excited. So I've got all the pans set up. Get some so margin there. Get some margin there. I know you want you it. You're helping me with the camera. To be honest, you don't have to wear the camera, so. Yeah. Come on, mom. <laughs> mom, get the camera. Right, so that's one. Right, guys. Just let know the that cut, has Lee? changed because halfway through a while, we're putting the two slices of bacon in. The, the bacon is. Well, look at how fat, gross that fucking bacon is. It's like pure fat. The little bit. There's like a little triangle of meat on each end of the bacon. And, and I, I really hope he puts margarine in the pan. So I'm using with my the bacon. mom's camcorder as we speak. So the bacon is cooking now. Um, a good way to do bacon is don't put anything in with the bacon. Let it cook in its own juices. Does it mean that just sound it? Let it cook in its own juices. Anyway, just put me in my day, man. Anyway, I'll talk about sex, so, The bacon is cooking <laughs> now. Uh, in this pan is going to be going um, scrambled eggs. So let's get the... Uh, well, the I'll, I'll show you what I'm getting. Well, I won't show you what I'm getting. You'll see what I'm getting. Was it making an omelette or something? Right, guys. So going in this pan here... He's so excited about food. Scrambled eggs. You see it? You've already gonna... said that you're putting you eggs in that pot, please. So you can fucking tell me if you can see it or not, and I can't do that just swap. Right, so you put another butter in. What's margarine? Don't even call it butter. You fucked it. I know, I know your secret. Alright, so. You're gonna need to let that melt for a bit. Not all of it, just let a bit melt. You know, when it starts to melt, move it around the pan. This isn't it, but there's more stuff coming. Don't you worry, there's more. Right. He's so nervous. He wants to please me with his offering of food. Let this melt for a bit. This oh, is what you cut out, you Lee. Baby. This is <laughs> you fumbling off screen with your with your yeah. packaging is the shit That's you cut right, out, yeah. Lee. He's so stressed. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, you know what? Forget it. I'll just come back when it starts to start to melt. Oh, right, yeah, no guys, shit. So the um, butter is starting to melt. Oh, that looks like butter. That looks like butter, not so fucking move it oil, Lee. The pan. I bet just do it here. Just move it around and around. It doesn't around. even look like food. Go. I really hate when we're doing it all. Come on! Freaking out, go, go over there, go over there, right there. It does look like paint. It you looks know, like you would, you would you fucking spackle that on your wall. Bring back all the heat and it'll melt. Right. So, <laughs> now, we're going to Kay's advice is to put that shit on max, so it melts faster. <laughs> oh, get up. It'll lock it away. Oh, Why does she have no, to? I can do it. I can do it. Why does she have there to chaperone him to make bacon and egg? Right. Or bacon and so eggs. So now I'm gonna. What is? What does he need her help for egg. this? I'm recording, aren't I? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing this and just not recording. I'll be like, no. Do it again. 
Right, so. She's worried he's gonna burn down the house. <laughs> if Kay's fucking worried about your cooking, that's a oh, bad oh, sign. Very good. I'm going to that one. Oh yeah, he's scratching the fuck out of that tough one with the fork. fork. The I'm sure they're already poisoned with all sorts and of horrible fucking British eggs. shit. Oh, already. His Just form with quickly. the eggs is good, though. Well, all right. That's uh, impressive. Oh, Countertop yeah. fucking clean. That's impressive. Well, Already better than K. Ow. Oh, yeah, what am I using? What am I using? I'm an idiot. Even K. K is like, what the fuck what are you, are you doing? I can't believe that I used the fork. What am I thinking? So I'm going to keep on stirring this. Thank you. you this, make, this video is making no. me appreciate Kay really and her, her, her skills more. She knows about the, the metal on metal. She knows Did about the test, heat. <laughs> yeah, see. All coming good. Can you come and study so I just wash my hands? To get all the eggs off. I hate eggs. Oh, I put some salt in. It's a good thing that salt, his mom's here to help. Pepper. Next that in. Usually put pepper on last to taste. Whatever. That wasn't anything. You're not gonna be able to taste it. Alright, guys, I'm just gonna come and stir this. I am. What? He's getting his mom to help him to All stir right. the eggs. Just keep stirring this. Get a bit thicker now. You don't need to stir it. Just stir this while I just wash my hands. That's all. It's scrambled eggs, dude. Yeah. You just fucking it's cook it and you, yeah. you scramble it. It looks bad because he added margarine to it. Margarine is so fucking gross and it makes everything look shitty. Just throw in some fucking butter or olive oil. Should put the bacon on a lot long, um, longer. For oh my god, guys, look at that scrambled egg coming in nicely. Oh, it looks nice. He's so proud. Wait, the bacon's well done yet? Calm down. Where's the fork? If it's me, it's done. You want you want your bacon like that? Yeah. Really? The bacon's not cooking because he's so afraid of cooking it on high heat like she does that uh He's gonna let it done nice. He's not yes. cooking it at all. Right guys, so I'm gonna dish it out now. Hi! Hi! Wanna show the camera? Alright. Cheek! What happened? So Why didn't he flip there. the bacon? Right. You can see it finally. Nice bacon done. That's not done at all, that's raw oh, as fuck! Makes one bit. Ah, You're gonna get fucking worms eating that right, shit. Right guys, simple mistake, I'm back a bit, I will rectify it in a bit. Wait, what did he do? Right guys, the bit I forgot is toast, put the toast into it now. But obviously, come over here, idiot. You cut the camera because you forgot to put out. toast in the toaster? Yeah, so you put bread in the toaster to get toast. Put it to the other ring. Right, can I see? I'm just gonna get all the scrambled egg out now. I don't want to leave it in the you can pan. just leave it in the pan. <laughs> you don't have to. I'll just make it all terrible. So scrambled eggs. Take it off the spoon. Oh, fucking heck. Just leave it all over the freaking cooker. Terrific. Right, so, a bit of mess here, but that's the scrambled egg out. And the toast is doing it now. Just keep it in the fucking... Right, guys, I've done this in the freaking what? awkwardest way possible. Yes, you did. You know... Just leave it I in the fucking pan until it's ready. But, anyway, toast is done. Both... Can you see that? Both sides buttered. I mean... Not buttered. Both sides toasted, whatever. <laughs> right, guys. How much oh, marge? Oh, oh, I bet he's going to add so much really fucking marge to that bread. It really has. Right, so... Quick butter, both... Oh, I can't um, wait. Toast. I bet you can't see any bread once oh, he's yeah. done spreading oh, it. Oh, <laughs> That's a lot of fucking yes, marge. Use a lot of marge, but you know what? What the heck? Even he knows. He's no, he knows it's a lot of marge, and he's ashamed of it, oh, which is why he it said that. That is like pure fucking hydrogenated like corn oil. 
It's not butter. I don't know why he doesn't like butter. That's the weirdest thing about him. Right, that, is how much he just put that over there. And he got he got it on the side, so you can't touch it. You're gonna get marge on your fucking hands eating that shit. Look, he can't <laughs> scrape it off the fuck. Thank you. He didn't even do it right. If you hold that fucking sandwich, you're going to get margarine on your hands, no matter how you hold it, because it's going to be on both sides now. Right, guys. Because he so, put so much of it on it. Once it's all buttered, this is where... I know he has autism, because he's making sure that, like, every... First. Right, the entire so surface area of that bread has to be evenly covered in, in margarine. So that's... Right, now this is what's supposed to have happened the first time. So, what you do is. Oh, wait. Right, so, you get your first. Right. I just have to admire the fact that he's like, like, he's explaining this like it's an instructional video. Here's how you make bacon eggs on toast you have to, you have to put the eggs on the toast, then you put the bacon on top, then you close the bread together. That's how you do it. Protest from Lee. First day. Uh, For a fucking mongoloid who's never right? made you bacon the egg and toast before. eggs that you cooked earlier on, which you shouldn't have, but yeah, you did. And you put it on the plate. <laughs> so Flawless. The plate it falls all over the show. Flawless. That, that was a perfect oh, transfer. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I wonder. Oh, so that's your scrambled <laughs> eggs there. Right. With this I, next can, one. So if you're listening to this, he just spilled eggs all over the fucking place. And it's just like, yeah, that's good enough. Hot. Right, so your scrambled egg and toast is there. Why not just put right. the bacon directly bit. on it so you don't have to be... F right, you pick up the toast. And you can see this. Can you see it? What the you fuck are you doing? Can watch to see this? Just put the bacon directly oh, on the eggs. Can you see this? Can you see this? Right. Yeah, your toast is there. Do you need yes. a step ladder so you can see? Do you want to slap? Right, so. What the fuck is it? Why is he cutting the bread in half? Like that, <gasps> He's such like a retard! That. Then you chuck the knife at your mother's head. Oh my god! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like that, like that, like that. But that is not the end of it. Right, guys, so all that's done, you get a bit of ketchup. What the fuck is he no. doing? <gasps> Did he say ketchup? So, no! It's a good thing you like. No! Ketchup. I don't like, no, not like ketchup. <gasps> no! That's enough. Oh my god, he is putting ketchup yeah, on fucking like eggs on toast. Like in a, you're supposed to go like a zigzag, but it kind of messed up. Yeah, and, messed up. Wait, that's not it. There's what no the fuck, Lee? Move out the way. <laughs> Even Kay, Kay is si Kay, his mother, Kay, infamous for her fucking bad cooking, is in the back appalled by this fucking shit. I can't believe well, this. I was supposed to put pepper on, but she just said, oh, I don't want pepper, I don't want pepper. So that, as my mother says, is an M product. product. I really enjoyed it. Only thing you haven't is eaten now, it yet. Need to know what it tastes like, so come on. He's gonna he's gonna feed this slop to his fucking no, mother. Yeah, his mother who raised test. him. Right, make so him eat this fuck, on, fucking <laughs> Ew what? She doesn't like it. I don't like the red sauce. Alright, oh, fine, go for that. Is this scrambled egg or good in that one? Yeah. Why is he? Why is he prepared it like this? What? The bacon's raw. There's no way that's not raw bacon. Flavors in your mouth. She's so angry at him. She hates it. I love bacon anyway, but yes, it's very nice. Big thumbs up. <laughs> right, guys. So that is okay. I think this is. I don't want to just listen to him talk, but I I, I want to explain this audioly audio. Audio? -y? How the fuck do you say, like, visually, but with audio? Verbally. I want to uh, narrate his his assembly on the plate. I thought he was going to put the bacon on top of the eggs and then put the second layer of toast on top of it and eat it like a sandwich like a normal fucking person would. He has not done this. 
He took his second piece of toast and he cut it down the middle, like horizontally, not even diagonally, down the middle and made two flaps, like two bread wings for this this egg on toast with ketchup on it. And he has laid raw ass fucking like Canadian bacon on either side so that it looks like a really shitty satellite with like bacon solar panels or something. Or like an angel made out of God's contempt for mankind. And uh, it, it's genuinely shocking how how unappealing he's prepared a, a bacon and egg sandwich. Like genuinely appalling. So if you if you're listening on iTunes or whatever the fuck, I hope my I hope my audio audio visual transcription has has been of service to you. I want to hear what he says though. If it's boring, I'll cut it off. Right, guys. So that is the end of this video. I hope you did enjoy it. I really enjoyed it. I've been looking forward to this for a very long time. She's over there scuffing her face with it. So yes, hope you did enjoy it. If you did enjoy it, give it a big thumbs up. Let me know if you want me to like not make this a regular thing, but do more cooking videos on my channel. It's not even dude the butter. It's not even that the butter didn't melt. It was margarine. Um, which I, I I'm gonna I'm gonna go out on a limb and assume that margarine has a higher melting point than butter. But yeah, the eggs are fucking cold. The bacon's fucking cold. The bacon never got hot, so the bacon's definitely cold. It's just, yeah, I can't even imagine. Like, if you bite into that because of how much Margie's put into it, you're going to feel that oil, that artificial oil coat your entire mouth because it's just so much. And I, it, it's, I'm actually, I didn't know how interesting this video would be. I didn't watch it before I played it. Um, but Jesus Christ. You know, I really enjoyed it. You know, always said to visit, there's two things that I didn't, well, there's about three things I didn't like about the video. Well, I'm gonna tell you one, 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 is I did it all in reverse, more or less. Number two, I forgot what the second one were. I really forgot. Oh yeah, number two. Um, it's supposed to have pepper on it. You know the um, what do you call it? Scrambled eggs, but obviously he's trying to ex no explain how you put black pepper on the eggs. Somewhere. I really can't, can't remember. But, like I said, I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, thumbs up. Leave in the comments if you want me to do it more regular. Who cuts you know, his hair? Who the fuck do you think cuts his hair? Carrie C. I think it's good. His um, mom cuts his yeah, fucking so hair. so I will see you next time I do a video. Goodbye. Why is it right, like... guys, I just thought I'd show you my... <gasps> he put... There's like a little... I'm so glad I watched this. There's like another minute left. And he's he we are we are face back at another I don't know if this is the same I'm guessing it's a it, he's made a brand new bacon solar panel satellite dish and he has in this new Mark II bacon satellite Anglo satellite orbiting Earth he has managed to actually cook the bacon it looks like at least better than before but he's taking a step back in the design as he's now added ketchup to the the bacon on Marge toast. And I, I can't wait to hear what he has to say about this shit. I'm done. You know, I, I was going to put the... I forgot to film putting the red sauce on. And that'll, but I'll put the red sauce on. I didn't put the pepper on. So a bit of pepper on. And that is it. That is the video done. And yeah, that's mine done. The first one done was my mum's. And the second one is mine. I think it's nice. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you in you know if you think it looks nice or whatever. Let me know if you're gonna try it. Um, yeah, and <laughs> is anyone here inspired to to try the sandwich now? Just out of curiosity. I'm actually curious. I have the the video ID. I am mildly curious to see what uh what the comments are like. Abandoned by mind. Hello, cousin. Oh, that's that's already what we played. Two thousand views. They're better at cooking than K. Jesus Christ. They're also complimentary. Do you think he prunes his comments so that it's only positive stuff? <clears throat> Hello, cousin. 
It has to, he has to be promoting this. Lee, I love this video. Your energy was superb. This is so fucking gay. All these people are fucking like retards. Well done, Nate. Looks good at that, says Adam Logsdon. Cracking video, big man. Have a thumbs up. Brilliantly, well done, K, for taste testing from Jackie. By the way, yours is better. The bacon's done more. Love crispy bacon from Jojo Thompson. Did she watch the same video as me? Because that bacon was fucking raw. <clears throat> I can't believe it. Are these like fake accounts? Who the fuck are these people? Who the fuck are these people? Is he like buying comments? Wow, let's go more, please, says Smithy behind the camera. Awesome. I think this is your finest video ever. Your cooking skills are excellent. Not as good as Kay's, but still amazing, says Lolene Cheeky. Who are you fucking deranged sycophants telling this poor autistic child that his cooking is not fucking appalling? Who are I, I, what, what the fuck is, th I, I'm, I'm like shocked at this shit. What the fuck? Pity comments, they're all socks of his. I'm inspired to start a YouTube cooking show now. If I ever do, if I ever make borscht at home, I'll have to, to do a, do a, a video with a thumbs up. Wait, wait, what? Oh my God. How are you single? With skills like that in the kitchen, I'm sure loads of girls will be chasing you soon. I'd have breakfast in bed with you, Lee Hart, says Jenna Man. A clearly, clearly depraved, sadistic liar. A chronic, pathological fucking liar who is uh just out to make this this idiot continue to to produce mistakes on YouTube for her fucking amusement. Or it's either him. It's probably him in dress. <laughs> he probably gets all prettied up. He he butters himself up in Marge in a in a yellow margarine colored dress and and dances in front of a mirror before leaving YouTube comments saying about how he'd fuck him about how I would fuck me. All right, I think that's all the, the entertainment I can beat out of Big Manly uh, cooking bad, cooking poorly, I'm sorry, in the Queen's English. I'm jealous. I'll fuck you. <laughs> can we have Jordan Peterson as text to speech like other streams? What, like, like dynamic? Like built into the stream? Oh, that would get fucking annoying fast. All right, all right. Sorry, I was I was reading some stuff. Make sure I didn't and make sure I didn't miss anything. Anything else, my friends? Anything else that you can uh, you can you want to talk about before? Because it's it's been a short stream, so I'm I'm open to to some some ideas. Let me look at my downloads. See if I've downloaded anything funny. Was Epstein dead last stream? Yes, Epstein's been dead, hasn't he? <laughs> Sorry, I have a I have a very distorted uh concept of of time because I'm a fucking weirdo. Uh Dick Masterson is interviewing Boogie, apparently, um in the next two weeks. So I, I've made an open an open question on the Kiwi Farms. If you have any suggestions for how to deal with Boogie, uh please post there because I'm very interested in hearing what people would suggest. Uh, I did have a conversation with Boogie with Jim and Ralph like a year ago. And people responded very negatively um, to to that conversation because they said that we let him put on his, his nice guy routine and get away with stuff. But really, when you talk to Boogie, he acts clueless. Like, he's like, I have no idea about that. I let my manager take care of that, you know. 
Uh, I, I have no interest in that. You know, I just put on a show. It's, it's that kind of t- conversation. And it really, it really like jars you cause you, you lose your footing. So if you're someone who talks to, uh, or, or knows a lot about boogie and would be interested in seeing Dick talk to boogie, uh, do go ahead and post your suggestions or tips in that thread. Cause I, I, I would be interested. Um, <clears throat> And seeing Boogie react to someone who knows how to deal with him, I suppose. Um, someone invited me to talk to John McAfee, by the way. I'm not sure if that actually came to be, but apparently they had McAfee already set up for like a date like way in the future, like maybe a month from now. So I, I would definitely be down for that because I have to... I have to talk to that man. It's it's clandestine for me to speak to McAfee. And if it does happen, I'll let everyone know. <clears throat> if it doesn't, I'll cry. Uh, and I think that might be it. I think that might be it. Yeah. Oh, the only use me blade. I've never heard of them. I'll have to look. Uh, if there's a thread on the forum, I'll check it out. But I've seen it suggested now. I don't, I've never heard of them before. Oh, <laughs> before I forget, uh, this this tweet got posted like a couple hours ago, and it made me it made me laugh really hard because it's just like. I'll read it. Uh, Thank you to Wayne Allen Root for the very nice words. Quote. President Trump is the greatest president for Jews and for Israel in the history of the world, not just America. He is the best president for Israel in the history of the world, and the Jewish people in Israel love him. He's like the king of Israel. They love him like he is the second coming of God. But American Jews don't know him or like him. They don't know what they're doing or saying anymore. It makes no sense, but that's okay. If he keeps doing what he's doing, he's good for all Jews, blacks, gays, everyone. And importantly, he's good for everyone in America who wants a job. Wow, says Trump. Uh, so that there's King of Israel, Donald Trump. I, I, every day, you know, I wake up and I thank God for Israel. Because I, I love the nation of Israel. And I think I love Israel more than anyone else. But then I see a tweet from Donald Trump about how much he loves Israel. And I'm thinking, wow, that motherfucker, that motherfucker loves Israel. So every day, Donald Trump challenges me to love Israel more. And I I try to meet that challenge to the best of my ability. Uh, Jordan, what do you say about Israel? The Jew is immunized against all dangers. One may call him a scoundrel, parasite, swindler, profiteer. It all runs off him like water off a raincoat. But call him a Jew, and you will be astonished as he recoils how injured he is, how he suddenly shrinks back. I've been found out. Well, that's anti-Semitic as fuck, Jordan Peterson. I can't endorse that. I have to disavow. And uh, with those those famous last words, I think I'm going to call it a wrap. And I'll catch you guys next week. Take it easy.
Bye, faggot.